This is a little supplement to an earlier video about extending the frequency range of the Analog Discovery 2 uh, Spectrum Analyzer. A uh, couple of people asked if I would actually show how I would implement this. Now, I've got some parts on order and I'm eventually going to build uh, uh, at least one prototype in a little box like this. But uh, I thought I might uh, go ahead and uh, answer this ahead of time in case people would like to order some parts to build a similar kind of device. One of the things that I would recommend is that you use this mixer from Mini Circuits. Now there are many other uh, manufacturers and I don't have any connection with Mini Circuits. It's just that I'm familiar with these. This is a nice uh, low cost uh, under $10 mixer that uses uh, through hole. You can, they also make one that's very low cost that has uh, surface mount and uh, so on. Or uh, you could even go with one of these more expensive uh, BNC connector versions, though uh, there's a lot of extra uh, cost there and then you also have to provide connections to there. But nonetheless, that's what I would use in terms of the frequency mixer. In terms of the oscillator, I've already showed in the uh, original this 50 megahertz crystal oscillator that all electronics sells for a dollar and a quarter. So uh, you're up to about, uh, with shipping, probably about $15 at this point. And then here is how I would uh, build the circuit. For input and output, I would use BNC connectors. This is a uh, what's called a chassis mount or a bulkhead mount BNC connector. And that's what I would use simply because those are a little more uh, readily available and the cables for those are more likely to be available in a lab or wherever. But if you want to use an SMA or uh, some other connection, that's fine too. So here's how I would arrange the circuit. Here is the 50 megahertz oscillator. It drives a, a D flip-flop with the Q bar connected to the D. All that really does, there's no connection here. This is the 50 megahertz into the clock and then the D to the Q bar but not connected to the clock. I would use a 74 AC 74 or an AC T 74 here because in general these will go up to 100 megahertz or so clock frequency so they'd easily handle this 50 megahertz. Then what I would do is provide a switch on the output that allows you to select between 50 megahertz, the output of the oscillator, or 25 megahertz, the output of the divide by 2. And apply that to the mixer along with the input signal I would put a switch on the output that would allow me to uh, select between the mixer output and the straight in. This way you could either select straight in or mixer out. And then with, once you select mixer out you could select either uh, 50 megahertz or 25 megahertz. Now obviously you could extend this if you had a faster uh, oscillator here. Suppose you had a 100 megahertz uh, oscillator. Those are hard to find and, I, and they're a little expensive. So I would limit this to probably a 50 megahertz uh, oscillator. But that would give you, uh, allow you to extend the frequency range of the analog discovery out to 100 megahertz, which gets you into the region where you can start looking at second and third harmonics of signals that are within the range of the analog discoveries oscilloscope. The oscilloscope, as you may know from one of my previous videos, you can push out to almost 30 megahertz. But if you want to see the third harmonic of 30 megahertz, you're going to need to go out to at least 90 megahertz on the spectrum analyzer. Well, in the 50 position here, you will be able to do that. That is, you'll be able to see everything from 50 uh, megahertz to 100 megahertz 
on the spectrum analyzer using this circuit. So I hope this helps. I'm going to try to keep this short and I don't plan on doing a video when I actually construct this device, but, but it's just going to be a prototype anyway. But at any rate, I thought it might help people if they saw my actual implementation. And once again, this is the way I would do it. There are probably better ways and I'm sure that uh, if you look around, you'll probably find some better examples. But uh, for those that might like to order some parts to build this, uh, I would suggest that you might use that uh, oscillator from all electronics. And once again, as I say, I would use a, uh, a little uh, box like this to put it in to, to shield. And then, of course, uh, the connectors can go on the ends or the sides or however you'd like to to build it. You have to supply 5 volts to the oscillator and 5 volts to the uh, circuit or at least VCC to the circuit. For that reason I would suggest you might want to go with the ACT. The ACT is the uh, TTL level version of this AC uh, circuit. That way everything can be 5 volts. You can power it off a small battery or uh, or a small 5 volt power supply or even off a USB uh, adapter. Well, I hope that helps and look forward to some more, but I think this is kind of wrap up the uh, extending the frequency response of the uh, analog discovery too.